Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about serialization in XML format. So what is serialization? It is saving the state of an object in a file. Okay, now that file can be a normal TXT file, it can be a data file, or it can be a XML file. So when you talk about, let's say, if you want to save the state, so what you will do is you will create a class and you will implement that class with serializable interface so that it will allow you to store the object. Right, but the problem is when you when you save the object in X, in the data format, or in the if you save the state of an object in a data format, and after saving, when you deserialize it, and in that time, uh, you know, in time that time gap, if the class structure changed, it will give you error. So in order to maintain that, what we can do is instead of storing that data in, instead of storing that data in data format or text format, we can store the data in XML format. Since XML is one of the most uh, efficient uh, data storage we can have. So in fact, you can, you can uh, transfer this XML file over the network also. In the other machine, you can retrieve the same object. Okay, so if I'm not going to my video of serialization, uh, so you can find a link below to get the, the to do the serialization in normal format. In this video, we'll, we'll see how to do it with the help of XML. So what we'll do is, uh, first of all, we'll create a student class, oh, sorry, college class. In this college class, we'll be having a list of student. Okay, so because every college will have a list of student, right? So we'll say this college has some students. So we'll say private. It will be list of student. So we'll say list. And we'll name this as students semicolon so i will be having a list of student okay but this list will be of type so if you have to specify the generic type it will be of student type now what is student student is a class here so let me remove all the comments first so student is a class here in which i will be having the data about student so data let's let's say we have private int uh, roll number so this is your first data and then private string s name. There is your second data. Okay. Now since we are working with private variables, now in order to use or to use these variables, what we need is we need getters and setters. So we'll say uh, right click, insert code, getters and setters. So if uh, irrespective of which ID you use, uh, like NetBeans or Eclipse, both will be having this feature. So let's generate the getters and setters. Okay. Now let's say if you want to print, if, if you print the data about student, it, it should print all the data. So for that, we need to, you know, we need to override the two string method also. So we'll say right click, insert code, our two string method for, we'll print both the data here and we'll say print. Good. And now, so if you, once you got the student class, let's go back to college class here. In this college class, so if you if you see student, we have two variables. One is roll number and name, and we have getters and setters for that. In college, we'll be having a list of student. Now to assign this list of students, we need getters and setters here also. So we'll right click, insert code. So you can also use the shortcut which is Alt Insert here. We'll say insert code. Uh, we need getters and setters for this variable students. Okay, we got the getters and setters. Okay, and yeah, uh, so yeah, we got the list. Now what I need is I need to serialize this thing. So how to serialize this thing? Let's go. Uh, let's see this college class here. So we have yeah, so we have set it and we have uh, we got the data. Now let's say how to serialize it. In order to serialize it, what we'll do is we'll use a class here which is serialize XML. Uh, to serialize this data, we can simply say psvm, obviously void main. Okay. Now, first of all, we need some students, right? So let's create object of some students. We'll say students, student class. This is package student. We'll say st1. So this is the first student, new student. So we got the first student. And we'll set the data for student. We'll say student. Uh, st1 dot set roll number let's say 101 st1 dot set s name uh, we'll say the name is 
should say one gauge. We'll create one more student, so we'll say copy. Okay. We'll say copy, then start, and we'll paste it here. So it is student two, uh, two and two. We'll say student number is one not two, and student name is let's say let's say shiny. So we got these two students here. Now, in order to store the student in a college class, we need a college object. Or for before that, we need a list to store. So we'll say like, we'll get a list of student here. Okay, we'll name this as let's say s equal to new add a list not this one we need add a list and we need to specify the type here since from java 1.7 we can simply specify the diamond no need to specify the type there we'll import the package which is list now once you've got the list we'll add those students here we'll say student dot add which is s1 and s add student dot s let's say s2 now we got both the student in this list and we'll assign this list to a college. So we require a college object, we'll say college C equal to new college. In this college, we'll assign those student list, we'll say set student and we'll pass the list object which is S. Okay, so we got two students here. This two student belongs to a list which is S here and then we are assigning this S to a college. So this college C has S number of students. Okay, or this S students. Now, what I want is I want to serialize this uh, student class. Now, to serialize this, what we need is in order to serialize this in XML format, first we need a XML encoder. So, we have to use a class which is XML encoder which belongs to a package java.beans. We'll name this as let's say x equal to. We'll create the object of XML here. So, we'll say XML encoder. XML encoder and then it's it asks you for the object of output stream uh, so we'll see the implementation of output stream we'll, we'll use buffered buffered reader or uh, buffered output stream here now it needs again an object we'll say we'll specify the file here which is file output stream so in order to save the XML file in a in order to store the object in XML format you need to first say create the object of XML encoder. For that, we need object of buffered, buffered output stream and for that, we need object of file output stream. In this parameter or in this bracket, we can specify the file name. We'll say the file name should be uh, my college dot XML. So it will create an XML file with this name. But there is a chance that uh, there will, you, you cannot find this file. So first import the package. Uh, so in order to uh, handle this, we'll say we'll use try catch. We'll say surround the block with try catch. Now once you got the object of x, now we'll simply say we'll we'll encode this or we'll write this. We'll say x dot. So there's a method called as write object, and which object we have to write? We have to write x, right? So we have to write this, not x. We have to write c. So we want to store a college object in the file. And once you store this, we have to close it. So we'll say close. Now basically to close the resources, we should always go for finally block, but in this example, we'll, we'll go for the direct close. And that's it. So in order to serialize, we have to first uh, use, we have to create two, two objects, a list with those students and the college object where we'll be having this list. And to store this, we have to use XML encoder. In this, we have to pass the object of buffer output stream, in which we have to pass the object of in, uh, file output stream, and then we have to say write object. Now, if you run this code, it will create a file which is mycollege.xml and it will write all the data. Now, the biggest advantage what you get here is you can actually see the data in the XML format in a proper readable format. Okay. Just to run this, we'll say shift F6 to run this code. Uh, yeah, so we, we, we have not got any error. So it says build successful. Now, where it will create the file, it will create this file in. Uh, a project dot project home folder so we'll jump to the project home folder and you can see there's a file which is my college now in order to op in order to open this we can directly double click it and you can see 
it says you have a you have used a class which is XML decoder, and the object class name is college here. Okay, and then we have to use uh, yeah you can see all the data here. So we have the first student as a roll number one not one and name is Mangesh. The second student is roll number one not two and the name is Shiny. So you can actually see the proper format of the data. Cool. So this is how we need to serialize a class or serialize an object in XML format. Now if you want to share this data with your friend, what you can do is you can just transfer, you can send this file to him, which is my college, and he will write a code, which is a deserialized XML, in which it, he will fetch all the data. Now how to do deserialization, that we'll see in the next part of the tutorial.